What's up everybody, JJ here, and this is something I should have printed a long time ago. What is it, you may ask? This is a 3D printed torque wrench for changing nozzles on your 3D printer. I really don't know why I waited so long using this old method. These are two really cheap wrenches that came with the 3D printer. One you use to hold the heater block and the other cheap piece of metal you use to rotate your nozzle off. It makes it so difficult to change nozzles, so I just put off changing nozzles when I really shouldn't. Eventually you need to change your nozzles, especially if you're just using brass ones, and especially if you're just using a bundle of cheap ones like I am. This is just a random cheap pack I bought off of Amazon, but this makes changing those nozzles so much easier. I didn't design this torque rinse, I did print it off of Thingiverse. I'll link down below to the original creator that I downloaded this from. All credit goes to him. He created several different versions of it and they work really well. At least this one works really well for me. In his model, he creates a slot for a magnet at the bottom. I'm not using a magnet. This friction fits in there well enough that it's not gonna fall out on accident and I don't really need a magnet to hold it in there. This is quite easy to take apart. On top, there's the ratchet part. This is a seven millimeter ratchet. I picked it up from the local hardware store. It was under $2. The next rod is a hex to quarter inch adapter. It's quarter inch because this socket I was using is a quarter inch socket. Next, this top cap unscrews off of here so you can get into where your little blades are and then your case. This case piece I printed in PETG. That's just because I wanted these colors to match the rest of my printer, so that's what I used. This blade on the inside is PLA, and I think it's the 1.2 millimeter version of it. He has several different versions, but this model, if printed in PLA, gives about the right amount of torque. You get this blade part, and then you fit your hex rod into it, slide it into the housing, screw on this top, add your hex piece, and that's all it is to it. This thing is so easy to build. I would highly recommend, I think this should be the next project for most people out there. After you put it together for the first time, they do recommend you use some pliers to give it a couple clicks. That's the sound of it hitting its correct torque rating and slipping past. That's what it's supposed to do instead of adding too much torque. And sometimes those first couple times on a new print can help loosen up the plastic just to the right amount. And now that I have this new tool, I think it's time to change the nozzle on my 3D printer. And now that we're here at the printer, First thing to do, make sure you get your gantry nice and high. Next, you're gonna to wanna to heat up the printer. I heat to around 230 or so. That way it loosens everything up to get everything off, and also it gets it ready for the new one to be put on there. I use these adjustable pliers to grab onto the actual heat block. Here's an example here. You want something that will grab on really solidly because you're gonna put a lot of force against it. An adjustable crescent wrench would work as well, but this gives me a nice solid hold also. Get out your new nozzle. Now that the nozzle's up to temperature, I can pull out the PLA that's loaded in currently. You don't have to fully pull it out, just make sure it's fully up in the Bowden tube away from the hot end. And now we're ready to change. Unscrew a little bit. Now I usually use my fingers to get it started. Grab back onto the heat block, put your nozzle in, straighten it up. Once it clicks, it's nice and solid. After you've loaded the new nozzle on there, make sure you extrude some filament and check around the connection up here between the nozzle and the heat brink. Make sure there's no extra filament just oozing around between that joint. If there is some oozing coming between the nozzle and the heat brake, you probably should print the larger size of the fans that fit inside of here. That will give you more torque on the torque wrench. It's also important not to over torque this. If, if you feel like you're putting too much torque on there, you can strip out those screws. Luckily with this printer, it did come with a whole e extra hot end assembly so I could test it out on here. If things were to break, it would just break here and not up on the actual printer. But for most people, I would recommend just make, just being careful with it. Don't over tighten it. If it feels like you're going way too hard and you're about to strip things, back off a little bit. You could try printing the smaller version of the fan here. That will decrease the torque limit of your torque wrench. But this one's working really well for me. The filament is coming out correctly and having no oozing around the top. And that's all it takes to change a nozzle. It's so quick now with this tool since it really grabs onto the nozzle instead of using that cheap little wrench that came with the kit. I know I'm just kicking myself over how long it took me to print this one. And if anyone else out there is on the fence about this, 
I would highly recommend this project. And that about wraps it up. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, just a print that I wish I'd printed earlier. And I wanna make this kind of a series of videos of whenever I find something that I think is really cool and I wish I'd known about it earlier, I wanna make a simple video explaining it. And you can help me out. If you find any prints that you wish you'd printed earlier, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to make this a way to help other people out with realizing there's so many amazing prints out there and there's amazing community members out there that are creating incredible things. So let me know in the comments down below if you find any amazing things out there that you wish you'd been printing earlier. But that about wraps it up for this video. Hit that like button down below if you've enjoyed this video or you learned something today and I'll see you in that next video.